Now, President Trump had made it his priority to securely withdraw from Afghanistan. So our intelligence community, through the Director of National Intelligence, was able to focus the intelligence collection on that mission, on securely doing so. Because the intelligence community, like anything else, has only so much bandwidth. Same with the DOD. If your focus is on Afghanistan and your intelligence collection is on Afghanistan, then you can brief the commander in chief on that mission set successfully. If you change that focus, that collection posture, as we call it, and that can only happen from the president and the director of national intelligence, then everyone that was collecting on Afghanistan is no longer the priority, it's something else. And so what the Biden administration did is they came in, and if you recall, the Secretary of Defense Austin issued a 90-day stand-down order at the Department of Defense because they publicly said the biggest national security threat to the Department of Defense was white supremacy. Now, whether you agree with that statement or not, I hope our viewers realize, viewers realize the drastic change in national security posture that caused. One, I don't believe with at all. Having served in multiple administrations at the operations policy and then ultimately running the Department of Defense, I don't believe that white supremacy is rampant throughout DOD. And I do think that anyone who takes on those views is tracked down and removed appropriately, but it is a very, very, very small number. What happens is when under the Biden administration, they come in and say, okay, DOD, okay, intelligence community, focus on that. Focus on rooting out white supremacy. They shift their attention. The entire, it's a tectonic shift. An intelligence community that was focused on the security situation in Afghanistan and our collection on the ground and from our allies and from the air and from you know, basic social media feed shifts. And you say, okay, we're not collecting here anymore. That's not our focus. Our focus is white supremacy. So what happens is you have an intelligence gap and the priority is rooting out this white supremacy. And I'll give you an example of its failure. When they issued this 90-day stand-down order, they being Lloyd Austin, the Secretary of Defense, they said we would receive a report shortly thereafter showing the results of this investigation. Well, that report was never issued because white supremacy isn't, is not the rampant problem and the number one national security threat. But this is another example of the politicization of the national security apparatus of, of the United States. And when you have, for the most part, a willing mainstream media to help run those narratives and those headlines, and you have a White House willing to take national security apparatus direction from the mainstream media, you hurt the American people. And when you don't collect on Afghanistan for eight months, of course they're gonna say we were surprised that it fell. Um, but we had a different uh, understanding, and I'm happy to get into that about our meetings with the president and how and why we briefed him on the security situation.